Hi everybody, it's Sarah from Exploring with Sarah. Happy Easter today. We have a special dinner that we're gonna make. I started the deviled eggs. I like to use the Rachel Ray method of cooking my eggs. So I put it in here, cold water, and I bring it up to a rolling boil, and then I immediately cover it, turn it off, let it sit for 10 minutes. And that works perfect for me. And then when I get done, I drain it, and then I put tons of ice in it, and then I go ahead and peel it. So as soon as those get done, I'm gonna <laughs> make the deviled egg so it's ready for later for for dinner, lunch. I mean, Brian will probably only have a few, but deviled eggs to me are Easter. So, and little fun fact: my baby brother calls them. Actually, he's not my baby brother anymore. He's 18, but <laughs> but my brother calls them fixed eggs. So we're gonna have some fixed eggs. I may have a few this morning, but that's fine. Okay, my eggs just got done. So I have them currently in ice right now. And I'm gonna go ahead and start cracking them. And I have these all laid out so I can go ahead and put the, um, the egg whites in. This is for my yolks and here we go. Normally I do this on a paper towel, but we are running low on paper towels. These are our Farber's Market eggs. Okay, give a little rinse in the water. I'm actually going to need one of these anyway. So give it a little dry. Now growing up, my mama would make this all the time, and my grandmother especially. She would make um, deviled eggs almost every time we visited. It was one of those things. She made um, something special for each each grandchild. Mine was mashed potatoes or orange salad. And orange salad, which I'm going to have to make on here one day, is jello, um, crushed pineapple, and marshmallows, sour cream, and cheddar cheese. <laughs> Sounds like an interesting um, combination, but it, it's absolutely delicious together. I'm only making 10 deviled eggs this morning. So I can go ahead and get them in the fridge. I have to make sure and ice everything. My mama, she can just peel everything while it's hot. I, on the other hand, cannot. Let's start on the eggs. I really enjoy egg salad as well, and I make it taste just like deviled eggs because what's better than deviled egg salad, right? Let's do this one. Hopefully, it won't fall apart. Yay! We'll move that one there. Okay, I'm gonna pull out my seasonings now. Okay, so I'm gonna take a fork to my egg yolks. Look how beautiful they are. I've done this, uh, the Rachel Ray 10 minute method forever and I never have a problem. There's always that one egg though. <laughs> never fails. Okay, so I'm gonna add my mayo. I like the real mayo, not the dressing. That's just me. So just 
add, there we go. I can always add more. And I only have Dijon mustard, so I'm gonna add that. I'm not, I don't like to add relish. But Dijon mustard works fine for me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and give it a stir. See if I like the consistency. Okay, let's taste. Add just a little bit more mayo, because I taste that Dijon. A little bit more than the mayo. And add a little bit of this. I guesstimate, I like mine really runny. Obviously, make your deviled eggs how you prefer. There it goes. Love that smell. Love the apple cider vinegar. Taste test again. A little bit more vinegar. A little bit more Dijon. One more taste. Perfect. Okay, so let's fill these eggs up. I just do the spoon method. It's just easier. I know it looks prettier when you stick it in a plastic bag, but I reuse all of my plastic bags and I don't want to cut a hole in them. So a spoon works just fine for me. I can't count on my hand how many times as a child that me and my sister and my brother would fight over the utensils used to make the deviled eggs. <laughs> we all wanted in on it because it's just so good. See how my egg's a little runny? I like that. I like it that way. It'll stiffen up a bit anyway. Okay, so I'm going to top it now with my paprika. And get these in the fridge. Tonight I'm making our Easter meal and it consists of two pounds of crab legs. Oh, I just yeah. turned it on. They aren't touching the water. I turn it up to seven and they are going to be steaming until they are warm. It could be 10 to 20 minutes because there are quite a bit in there. I have some homemade mashed potatoes here that I made. And of course it's Easter so I made some deviled eggs. So we are going to have that as our Easter dinner and I will let you know how it is when it's done. Yep, we are excited for this. And we are gonna have our specialty butters. Brian's gonna make his own. That's gonna be spicy because it's Brian. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna warm up some regular butter, but I wanna make sure that the crab legs are done first. And they're still gonna be hot even when they come out. So Brian and I will um, let you know when it's ready. All right, so our food is done, and man, it is smelling and looking amazing. Can't wait to dive in. I'm hungry. Oh, yeah. You see the steam coming off of these crabs? We're going to let them cool down a little bit, and then, yeah, we're just going to get right into this. Look at the different butters. Yep, Sarah warmed up some butter, and I have some Old Bay butter right here. Of course. Old Bay, it's supreme. Has to have Old Bay. Absolutely. But yeah, we're going to get these crab legs and go from there. Yep, we have a lot of them, so. Look at that. <laughs> Happy Easter, y'all. Happy Easter. And we are done with dinner. It was amazing, as always. Love crab legs. Um, did, did you enjoy yours, Sarah? I did, baby. Nice, nice. Yeah, that was an excellent dinner. Very happy with it. It was about two pounds of crab legs there. Yeah, excellent. 
hit that thumbs up button, hit that subscribe button, and um, leave us a comment. Let us know what you had for Easter, and we'll be seeing you.